<laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. This is Shannon Siona and today I am showing you my personal process of how I create a song from scratch. I am currently sitting in my beautiful friend Cello's apartment. Usually when I begin writing a song, I like to be outside of my own element so that I could get a little bit more inspiration. What are you doing over there, bruh? Excuse me. Excuse me, what's going on over there? What are you doing over there? Are you vlogging? I didn't want to interrupt your music, you know what I'm saying? Oh, it sounds very peaceful. Oh. Okay, <laughs> I'm writing music now. I already have some, I already have like the idea of what I want to write about. And like a few first lyrics, but there are some words I want to change. Oh. So the first step for me is figuring out what I want to sing about, what I want to write about. After I have that root topic, I like to decide what kind of genre I'd like my song to fall under, whether it be a more of a pop song or R&B, neo soul, funk song, old school. Um, my sound is very diverse, so I like to make sure that I hit all those umbrella ideas. Once I decide what genre my song is going to be put under and the root topic, like I said, of my song, I head on over to YouTube to find some inspiration, sounds, uh, inspiring artists, anything that can get me into that headspace to be able to find melodies and resonate with the song so that I can get a clear idea and a clear process of what this journey is about to look like for me from start to finish. After I go onto YouTube and get a few ideas, I then head on over to BeatStars or any of the correlating beat programs where you can buy a beat. And once I find a beat, four hours, five hours, days later, um, I'll go ahead and buy that beat so that I am locked in and uh, I know that there's no turning back now. And I also buy the exclusive versions of Beats just for my own safety, for legality reasons, so I have no issues down the line. Please do not let that discourage you if you can only afford the leasing option at this time. That is perfectly fine. Um, and usually it, it's it's the same type of version just for me and where I am in my career um, to save my own butt I just go ahead and buy the exclusive versions of songs so I have no issues down the line and once I have that beat I just start messing around with the melody mess around with some lyrics that I have written down and try to have fun with this process because it is the hardest and most time-consuming of all <clears throat> do you want to do a certain part first, or you just want to go through it? No, once? let's just go through it. Okay, you want to hear it, or you want to just start? Just start. Um. But it's okay. As you will see at the end of this video, the songwriting process usually takes me about two to six months to complete, starting from finding the beat and writing the first lyric to getting the master versions back from Sam. 
Um, this process specifically took a lot longer because of quarantine and COVID. So yes, the dates at the beginning of this video begin in early 2020 and towards the end, it is early 2021. Sometimes that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Obviously we're gonna do it again. All right, so the root topic has been picked, the genre of music has been chosen, the beat has been paid for, there is no turning back now. After many drafts of lyric writing, I like to do what you see here, which is rough draft record uh, what I plan to do in the studio with Sam so that I can save a little bit of money and save a lot of time going through what I want the melodies to sound like, trying out new things, new harmonies, basically getting all of my kinks out um everything that i'd be too embarrassed to do in front of sam or in front of the public i like to get out here so that i am in a clear headspace and confident in what i am doing once i get to sam i would recommend this step for anyone who has uh, nerves or uncomfortability trying new things um, in the public just to ensure that you are giving yourself enough space to play around before solidifying your sound. I like to do about two or three rounds of rough draft recording before going into the studio to make sure that I'm good to go. It is studio day with Cynthia. Um, exciting. No, oh, that's wow. not good for me. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's like that's not good. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. On my last vlog, I realized that I move super quick. So now oh, we're just going to go super slow <laughs> for people. Because I was, I was getting whiplash watching my own show. Watching my Yes, please. <laughs> Siona. <laughs> I literally have to do body rolls on my Siona. <laughs> Get my sexiness. <sighs> Siona. Siona. <laughs> I am bingo ready. Okay. The studio is definitely my favorite part of the entire process. I am super thankful and grateful that I was able to record this journey for you guys so that y'all could see how I personally create a song start to finish. The song with Cynthia and I should be coming out soon within the next few months, so please keep a lookout for that. Go ahead and follow her on all social medias as well as mine that will be shown at the end of this video. I will be ending the voiceover here, so until next time, y'all have a good one and enjoy the rest of the video.
All right, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>